This is Radar from the Radar Day blog coming to another edition of MLB Observation. Week two of this 2023 season, as always, on the Radar Entertainment blog, on the Radar Media.com, Radar4428 on Blogger, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, on the Radar Media for, Insta, for a TikTok, on the Radar is where you get my podcast, and this YouTube channel here is on the Radar where we do movie reviews and baseball observations. Let's get to it. The Marlins. I'm going to keep telling you this. Jazz Chisholm looks like he's lost a lot of times playing in the outfield. He may have a blazing speed, and that's helpful, but he takes a lot of bad routes, okay? And then they confound it by having Garrett Hampson make the team or be called up recently, and the former Rocky shortstop is out there also playing the outfield, a lot of center field as well. And when you have guys like De La Cruz and Sanchez, just let the young guys play center field every day. And maybe you put Chaz in left field. That's where you a lot of times hide bad defensive players. But also with De La Cruz, why is he batting fourth or fifth? That's the whole point of then last offseason, not the one this year, but the previous year, shelling out all that money to get the big boppers in Soler and Avi Garcia. Like them and Garrett Cooper is your three through five. I don't want to see Garrett Cooper second. And then the dude who, led the, who won a batting title last year and also was one of the league leaders in singles in Luis Arai batting third. He and Jazz at the top of the lineup is one of the best one-two punches that you can find in baseball. By doing the things where Garrett Cooper or Soler is second, you get Gene Segura fifth when, again, the dude's not a home run hitter. Okay, Jazz Chisholm also. Top batting and cleanup. That's not the point of having this guy. Mets, the only issue I have is Jeff McNeil won a batting title last year, and he gets a lot of hits he gets on base. So him batting three through six doesn't make the most sense, especially when you got Lindor, Alonzo, and you could potentially go... Marte fifth if you want, but you could then they obviously have Marcana and whoever's playing third base like Escobar. And right now with the Francisco Alvarez prospect, maybe he'll bat a little higher up. But then you got Vogel back at DH. Like you got all these guys that are just you have them to hit home runs and drive in runs. That's why that. And then in playing the outfield, when why have Tim LaCastro and Tommy Pham in your roster if they're not actually going to be playing? In the uh, playing enough in the outfield. Texas, again, the Simeon Sigger 1 2. It's one thing to put Simeon second, but putting Sigger second means that after Lau and Garcia, do you want to go rookie and Josh Young? Like, that doesn't that exciting as your five hitter. Robbie Grossman, I'm glad he made the team, but he should strictly be playing left field. He's not a great defensive outfield to begin with, so right field to stretch. So that's why I'm glad Jankowski's on this roster and he's playing some center field and some right field. And this Smith dude. If Corey Seager's hurt and they don't have a real good backup option, that's fine. He's playing shortstop in the meantime, but that means he should not be in the outfield. They have enough outfielders. Jonah Heim with Mitch Garver's injury, they're not the same offensive player. I don't want this guy batting six. Dane Dunning pitching on the bullpen because I guess they got enough starters. Cubs, Trey Mancini is not an outfielder. You got this guy to play first base or DH with Hosmer, okay? You got Edwin Rio so he could play third base, so you're not playing Patrick Wisdom at third base or in right field when they do the first base and by trade. And then Master Boney is the last man standing of utility guys. They let they traded Zach McKinstry and they let some other guys go. And he's not an outfielder also. Bellinger, we've been over this. He was so bad in L.A., they're batting eighth or ninth. What makes you think that he's going to be a great four hitter and rebuild his value? Seven's a fine enough spot. And again, I would much rather play this Nelson Velasquez guy they have on this team in center field. He's a lot younger, more athletic, has more speed. And let Bellinger play right field so he doesn't have to worry about playing center field. I do like with Nico Horner, Dansby Swanson, and Ian Happer batting one through three. That makes sense. Speed and contact and your best player. And then Rio should not be DHing because that's where main senior Hosmer should be your wisdom. Reds. Jacob Fraley is a good outfielder, not a middle of the order hitter DH. Stevenson's been an okay catcher, but he's not a cleanup hitter. He's certainly not a top 10 offensive catcher, nor is he a DH. Steer is one of the power guys. He should not be batting second. Newman almost won a batting title years ago when he was up there. He's not a five hitter. And Barrero, if he's not getting the start at shortstop, just live, let him stay on the bench. You have enough outfielders in Friedel, Fraley, and this Fairchild, and then I think it's Benson guy, or whatever his name is, and those guys should all be playing the outfield. Friedel batting second makes sense. But again, I think I wrote Steer batting second twice because I thought it was silly and Fairchild who can't hit in this career batting third. And India DHing is a waste when you could DH Will Myers. For our steer, for example. And then I'm happy my guy Nixon Zell's back, but they continue to not put him in the one two spot or the bottom of the lineup with his speed and put him sixth. And then he played second base later in the game, but they still started him out of position in center field. Phillies, Kyle Schwerber batting second. Like, no. And I was like, happy that one day it was Stott 
and trade and Trey Turner at the top of the lineup. Speed and contact like it should be. And Schwarber batting third so that Castellanos and JT Remuto and Bohm have help in the lineup. Stop batting fifth or Josh Harrison or Brandon Marsh batting sixth with it. so Edmund Sosa's batting like seventh. That's not a great scary lineup. And Harrison's on an outfielder. I thought you got Chris Boucher and Jake K for a reason. Those guys are your backup outfielders. Or your defensive replacements for the guys who can't field. And Clemens is a utility man who's pitched so much. Yeah, forget he's a utility player. But again, he's not the first guy to play first base. I said this is before even the season started, before I even thought about this Hall guy, that literally you should play Edmonds also at third base so you can play Hoskins at first base if you're not going to put Schwarber at first base. Because that's my realistic option because he did that for multiple teams so far in his career. Yankees. I'm glad Diesel May is the leadoff hitter, but that's not where I would put him. If you put him in the two spot, then Judge won't be batting second. But knowing my luck, they'll be ha-ha in your face put Judge first. And then Diesel May playing third base when we all know he's second baseman. Judge playing center field when he should be in right field. Because literally, what is Frenchy Cordero's value when he first came up to the big leagues? It's a center fielder with speed. Boston was even dumb playing him at first base. But that's Boston's issue. This is the Yankees' issue. And then Aaron Hicks... What value does he have when you're paying him all this money? It should be to play center field, not to play left field, okay? Willie Calhoun, I'm not going to advocate for him to play center field, but he's a lot younger and less valuable to the Yankees that if he gets hurt, whoop de do, you don't want to injure Judge. Because when I see Judge playing center field, and I see a combination of either Aaron Hicks in left field, Calhoun in right field, or Frenchie in right field, and then maybe this as Waldo guy that they have up there playing in the outfield too that's a literally bad defensive outfielder or stanton playing right field at the same time it's really really dumb okay ikf in center field is even dumber than aaron judge because that's who's a catcher by trait let the dude play some third base some second base some first base not throwing him in the outfield okay and frank cordero's not a million order hitter glaber torres is not a, the world's greatest hitter so i don't want him at the top i also don't want him fourth or fifth what's the point of having judge stanton rizzo and donaldson for example if you're not going to do that Okay, at least Osvaldo also in this past week played some infield. That was cool. And uh, Aaron Hicks played one time in center field. I'm like, oh, and I made, so I made a great play. Oh, what, 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 what is the shock there that people go, okay, wow. It shouldn't be a shock. That dude is an actual center fielder. And Trevino can't hit. He's in the perfect team that if he's batting eighth or ninth, not batting sixth for a catching guy who can't hit. Valope, the rookie, bat a leadoff first. I know they're not going to do that all season, but I like that. And also, and let me tell you, Xander Carvalho was a utility guy, so which is why he was asked to pitch. Orioles. I know Adley Rushman's been good offensively, but wouldn't you want a lineup where All-Star Cedric Mullins is leading off, Adam Frazier or maybe Mateo or Austin Hay is batting second because of speed and contact, and then you go Mountcastle, clean up, and you got Santander third, and then you got the Gunnar Henderson rookie guy like sixth, and you put... Ali Rushman, fifth. Him being a five-hitter on a team that has Santander and Mountcastle in front of him and and the rookie behind him, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't want to see Urias batting fifth or sixth. There's no value for him offensively. Frazier batting seventh, there's no value. I don't know Gunnar Henderson shortstop. If he's a shortstop, then why isn't he taking Mateo's spot? That, this is my question. If you don't do it. Don't switch him back and forth. Voss pitching out of bullpen when he's a starter, but Henderson batting cleanup is a little bit much for a rookie. I like Hayes leading off, but if the expense of Mullins batting ninth, that's just stupid, okay? And then McCann batting cleanup. I'm glad he's back and healthy, but the dude's never been a cleanup hitter his whole life. And then throwing Adam Frazier in the outfield when he you got him to be second base because you need a second baseman. Like, it just makes no sense there. And then Hayes or Frazier batting fifth or sixth is dumb. Then Cleveland, this whole Ahmed Jimenez playing shortstop second base when it, they should be flopping for defensive capability. They should switch from being second or seventh or sixth. But they did one time put him in as a shortstop. I'm like, if they're going to do that once, they might do it full time. And batting him second, eh, that's fine. They at least did that. But can get fifth, sixth, seventh is not where I want him in as his value. And this Brennan dude is not Oscar Gonzalez or Josh Naylor. He's not a middle of the order hitter. Seattle, Ty France is a middle of the hitter. He's not a two-hitter. Colton Wong gives you an offensive value batting seven or six when he's the top of the order or the bottom of the other guy. Kalenic, he's he's trying to prove it. Six is way too much for a guy who hasn't proved it yet as a big leaguer. They lost to DH. Pollock batting fifth. I know he's a veteran, but he's not a middle of the order hitter. Haggerty is not a middle of the order hitter batting six, but at least he was playing second base. And Julio Rodriguez is one thing to bat on leadoff of Colton Wong second, but if you go Ty France second, that's just stupid. Okay, and then the twins. This is a long one here. Buxton is either bad at first, second, or third. Make up your mind. Is he your everyday leadoff hitter, or is he your number three hitter because he's your best hitter? Correa, you paid him all this money. 
not to be the two-hitter, but to be the cleanup hitter driving all this runs. Larnick is only playing because of injuries, and he's not a number three through six hitter. Batting him leadoff in second is cool, but if you're going to put him everywhere, that's just, again, stupid. Solano's not a leadoff, is not really a leadoff hitter, but I'll take it over him batting three, Thor, and five when he's a utility guy. And he's not a first baseman. He's a utility second baseman, third baseman, okay? Nick Gordon, shortstop by trade. Wouldn't you want to play this guy at shortstop if Correa wasn't playing instead of throwing this dude in the outfield? Polanco's injured. Why didn't you play him second base? And again, clean up, four, clean up or five hitter, the dude can't hit. Kyle Farmer is a catcher by trade, Okay. If you're going to make him a utility guy, he plays some second base, some third base, and first base. But shortstop is stupid when you have Nick Gordon and Willie Castro on your roster. And Willie Castro, stop playing the outfield. The dude should be playing infield. They lost a DH with some maneuvering. And Miranda is a power guy, not a two-hitter. Okay? Astros. Bregman should not be batting second. He should be batting third. So you go Jordan, Tucker, Abreu. And you want to take Pena out of leadoff spot and put Chaz McCormick in leadoff spot. I like that because McCormick's not a seven-hitter, nor is Jake Myers a seven-hitter. Pena, I'll take him six, but... If he's your seventh hitter, I'd prefer that if he's not batting one or two. White Sox. Luis Robert, right now with Tim Anderson hurt, should have no biz batting second. He should be batting third. Moncada not, is not a cleanup hitter, but he's not hurt. So at this point, if Aloy's back, he should be batting cleanup, and Robert should be batting third. So Vaughn is your five hitter, and if you play, you know, Gavin Sheets at DH and or whatever, or even the occasional outfield spot, he's sixth. But with Moncada's injury, Jake Berger should be batting sixth. Benetton, if you're going to bat him third, that's cool with all the injuries. But now him batting leadoff, he's not really a leadoff hitter. They signed to be the number two hitter, okay? I'm not telling you to put Romy Gonzalez or Hermano Sosa or Hanzo Roberto, even Elvis Andrews in the leadoff spot. But I would rather have Elvis Andrews in the leadoff spot and go bet at Teddy's second but because you want to get not have all your bad hitters all batting in a row. Alberto's not a six hitter, and again, Sheets can't play the outfield. I know I just said it, but like, disaster. Pittsburgh. O'Neal Cruz, before he got hurt, is not a leadoff hitter. He's a power hitting shortstop. Reynolds, perfectly in the two spot. Okay? Key Brian Hayes, not a leadoff hitter. He's drives and runs. McCutcheon, you got him to drive and runs. Not the best second. Will Crow is a reliever in their mind, but he's a starting pitcher. You can get more innings out of him. You know, Reynolds, center field, we know this. You want to play Jake Sawinski in center field, just do it. He should be your everyday center fielder no matter what. Who cares about other people? And then Jess Juan Bay, stop playing him in center field. When right now, O'Neal Cruz is out. You don't even have a second baseman. Matthias and this Castro dude are utility guys. Let this you want big guy play every day at second base or shortstop and, and let him see how good he is. And again, Connor Joe is a stretch to play left field. Playing him in right field is even dumber. Uh, the Giants. Lamonte Wade, I'm glad he's healthy enough and he's batting him leadoff. And he did play some outfield this week because right now they've been playing this Heliot Ramos dude and this, like, and this like Pierce Johnson, I think. I think. No one's ever heard of these guys. And, you know... Playing Sable, a Rule 5 catcher in the outfield. And I'm looking at this as like, you know, you don't have to DH Jock Peterson. You could put Jock Peterson in left field or you put Lamonte Wade in left field. And you still got J.D. Davis and Wilmer Flores and this VR guy to take the first and third base or DH responsibility. Like, or Sable, the, the Rule 5 catcher, playing the first base or DH. That would make more sense. Then Conforto, he's healthy right now. He should not be batting second. VR... He's an unknown. So batting him three and five is silly. And then I thought he's playing third base because he's better than J.D. Davis. He's not better than J.D. Davis. They let J.D. Davis play third base. Don't let this guy play second base. The scrimmage is not batting fifth or Tyro Estrada. They're not power guys. But I do like that he batted leadoff once. He played his natural born position, which is shortstop. And Sable, again, it's a catcher playing the outfield. And Rush really pitcher out of the bullpen when he's a starting pitcher. Kansas City, Melendez. He's not the fastest guy. And I wouldn't consider him a leadoff or a two-hitter. But two is better than leading off. But third, I don't know about that. But he's a good offensive player, so third sometimes would make sense. But again, he's not a he's not a catch he's not an outfielder by trade. He's a bad defensive outfielder. I don't even know how good he is catching. Isabel, not a five hitter. Okay, Nicky Lopez. I love the man, but he's not a six hitter. Massey's not a five hitter. Oliver's not a five hitter. You're looking at backups or players who are not known to be hitting. You don't want them that high in the lineup. Yarborough pitching on a bullpen when he should be starting, but I guess there's enough spots. Bobby Witt, stop doing what they're doing with the Twins of Buxton. Stop taking your best player, technically, and batting him one, two, and three and not know where he's going to go. Lopez, if he's not going to get an everyday start at second base, stop moving around everywhere. Fran Merrill, I'm going to say this. I like the dude. He should be DHing, but this team has Prado, Pasatino, and Hunter Dozier. There's no room for this guy. And then when they throw him in the outfield, that's just really dumb. Okay, JBJ has played some center field and right field, but what happened to Drew Water being the everyday center fielder? Is Isabel the everyday center fielder? Like, what are you doing with JBJ? Lost to DH with all the maneuvering. And the A's. I don't know who his Noda is, but they say he's a slugging corner infielder outfielder. So I wouldn't put him second. 
I would never put a Lesmius Diaz three through six because he's not a power hitter. Nor would I put Loriano three through six because he's not a power hitter. And I like his value playing center field, but so far it was Pache last year and this year Ruiz. So that's why he's in right field right now. Okay, Rooker, he had incredible like last couple of days in this current series. But the dude has been on multiple teams. I would not I'll rely on this guy to be my middle yard hitter, nor Jace Peterson, utility guy. And then Carlos Perez is like their third string catcher. Why is he DHing? Okay. Tampa Bay. Yanni Diaz is one of your only power hitters. He should be bad in the middle lineup, not leading off. Because what happens is there's Luke, there's like this Rayleigh dude, Brooks Rayleigh, Luke's Rayleigh, they're all the same at this point. Not in the script white guy. The Dodgers gave up on this dude. He's like an extra outfielder. So they're DHing him or playing him at first base. It's a bad middle lineup when I don't, there's not much value there. Harold Ramirez is a backup outfielder batting in the middle lineup and DHing, and Paredes is the utility guy batting in the middle of the lineup. When he bats leadoff, that's fine. Margot is not a power hitter. We all know this. She'd not be batting sixth. Lau, if he's leading off or batting second, that's fine. He should be towards the top. Same thing with Wander Franco. Wander Franco is not a cleanup hitter. Brujad's utility infielder, not an outfielder. There's enough outfielders on this team, okay? Atlanta, I like Acuna playing right field, no longer leading off. And him and Olsen should not be batting one and two because Murphy has never been a cleanup hitter on any other team he's been on, which is the eighth. On any other team would not put this good defensive catcher cleanup or fifth or Albi Alsby cleanup. Padres, stop putting Xander Bogart, Juan Soto, and Manny Machado in the one-two spot. The whole point is Juan Soto is like a perfect three hitter. Okay. Manny Machado should be batting cleanup because he's the, 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 the main RBI contributor of this team, the heart of this team. No offense to Tati. And you got Bogarts to support him. So if we go Soto, Machado, Bogarts, how are you going to top that? That's really good, okay? Okay, Cronenworth should not stop in the middle of the lineup when I know he's playing first base and that's where you put first base, but he's not a power hitter. He did play some second base. Kim is speed in contact, not actually batting six. And. Okay, and Rude at a door, and Brandon Dixon, they're infielders. They're not outfielders. And Campisano is a backup catcher. I wouldn't bat him seventh. This is what happens when you put all these guys in weird spots. Okay? Christian batting leadoff. Either he's your leadoff hitter or he's your nine hitter. So let's stop doing that. I would like to have Kim Cronenworth or Christian, the one of the, those two guys, batting at the top. That would make way more sense for this team. Cardinal, Tyler Neal's not a center fielder. We've been over this, okay? Donovan, I don't know how speedy he is and Burleson is, but then contact one and two makes sense. Are Carlson batting second or Edmund batting leadoff for second and Carlson playing center field makes sense. Donovan's a second baseman and they said that he is played, he's a third baseman, but you can't because of, of Gorman playing second base and, and uh, Nolan Arnado at third base. Cool. They, they He'll play some left field, he'll play some DH, but I don't know he's good enough to play shortstop. If Tommy Edmonds are only shortstop on the roster, Fine, but he's not. That's why you got Taylor Motter. He's made the team as a utility man. And Yepes is back up, but that dude is a corner infield, corner outfit, their power hitter, DH. He's not a number he's not a number nine hitter. Okay, Brewer. Yelich and Winker one and two is dumb. They're your main RBI contributors. Willie Adamas is not a three hitter. He's good at the one or two spot, which they've done. Mitchell's a rookie. I would never bet a rookie fifth or sixth. No one's ever heard of. Brasaru's not a fast guy. I wouldn't bet him lead off and he's a first baseman by trade, not a third baseman. They one time, as I mentioned, Adamas was second and Yellow third. I'm like, just keep doing that. And then Anderson had played some third base, but then they compiled up putting him in the outfield and putting Owen Miller in the outfield. Literally, you have Mitchell and this other rookie outfielder. Play those guys and stop doing the Anderson in the outfield thing. Brewers, Chris Bryant doesn't give you offensive value batting second when he's a power guy. And we open this. He's not really an outfielder, so right for the stretch. Profar has made some great plays in one day, but I'd rather him in the infield. This team has needs in the infield. This Montero guy, I don't know why I wrote him at third base, but that's who's been playing third base. McMahon still playing second base. Lament is a star opinion. Of open and Blackman leading off is good. He has no value batting second. Okay. Diaz is a cat backup catcher at 99% for teams, and Dows is a backup outfielder on most teams. Those are not five hitters. And Castro, again, play this dude in the infield. They, they don't have a set infield, and he's, and okay, and he's not a DH either. Washington, Kendall Lario is one of the worst hitters last year. I would not bat him at the top of the lineup. Ruiz is their franchise catcher, but he's not a million order hitter. Nor is Lane Thomas, nor is CJ Abrams, nor is this Garcia guy. I like Call and Lane Thomas batting one and two, speed and contact. And Michael Chavis is not a second baseman. He's a corner infielder. Angel, Ward's a catcher playing the outfield, and he's not a leadoff hitter. Trout should be batting second. He's batting third. That's He's literally the one of the best three hitters in baseball. That's where he's. That's his DNA. Urshela should only be playing shortstop if Fletcher and Ranjifo are not. So why is he still doing that? Again, Randy Eagles not be batting six. Blue Jays. I like that Springer is playing right field. 
But he should not be batting leadoff. And you're like, who's going to lead off? I'm like, well, Bo Bichette has led off at the beginning of his career. So has Kevin Biggio. You can put Espinal in the leadoff spot. What Merrifield's done it. Like, it makes more sense. Bo's fine in the two spot, but Springer's not a leadoff hitter. What Merrifield's not a middle order hitter. So, and he's not an outfielder. There's, like, no point to this. Then they just pick up Jordan Luplo, so they get a fourth outfielder, but then they go waste the DH spot, and then Varsho plays center field when they have other choices. And Brandon Belt's the DH, not an eight. Why would you bet him eighth? Dodgers. Bookie bets Freeman one and two. You could only keep one of those guys there. If you keep Bookie in the top of the lineup, that's fine. But Freddie Freeman is a middle ordered hitter. So I do like, fine, you put J.D. Martinez third, but you can't, for a full season, go Will Smith third. And maybe go Max Monthly cleanup or Martinez cleanup as a maybe. Because Vargas is a backup on most teams. Trace Thomas is a backup on most teams. And Altman's a backup on most teams. I'm not betting those guys five, six, four, five, six, and 7. And the whole point of Taylor is he's supposed to play some second base because they don't have a second base. But he's out there playing third base and he's out there playing the outfield. Hayward, we've got Altman and Chris Taylor and Trace Thompson. Hayward has no business playing center field. Mookie Best will be playing, playing second base. When well, you could be playing Chris Taylor there, okay? And Vargas, they got him to play second base, not to play first base. And at the same time, you know, it just makes no sense there, okay? D-backs. Kyle Lewis DHing is kind of a waste. DH Avalon Gordon, DH Rojas, DH Pavin Smith. That's not who I would DH. Guriel batting third, I don't know if I would do that. But their lineup is not the greatest offensive power hitting lineup. They lost to DH maneuvering and Nick Ahmed again. Does not be batting seven. He should bat in the bottom of the lineup. Tiger. Kerry Carpenter cleaning up. That dude's a utility guy. Nick Maton, utility guy. Why is he batting fit? McKinstry, the utility man, did make sense pitching in a blowout. And Akil Badu is up. But him going green, Baez 1 3 makes sense on paper. But Baez has been horrible. Maybe it's a disrespect to the future Hall of Famer to bat him seventh. If you're not going to bat him three and four, maybe, I don't know, fifth? The Erling, I like when it leads off, but to move him up and down the lineup and bat him third is pretty stupid. Same thing with Riley Green. Just keep Riley Green either one or two. And scope, stop playing with third base. You don't really have a second baseman either. Red Sox. Adam Duvall's injured, but he was batting fifth or sixth in the lineup as a center fielder, which he's not. Now, Ref Schneider, they're like, we're going to play the utility second baseman in the outfield. Like, whoop de freaking do. Why? If you're going to do that, why is this dude batting fifth and third? I liked when he was batting leadoff. That made kind of sense because he made a lot of contact. And again, this dude's wasting time in the three through five spot, but Devers is batting second. As I mentioned, Duval's not a center fielder. Arroyo is a super utility guy getting a long look at second base with all the injuries. He has no biz batting six or seven. Kiki Hernandez should be batting leadoff, but then they kind of say, nope, we make progress doing that, but then we just say, never mind by batting him last or batting him sixth when that doesn't give you a lot of offensive value. Tapia. Play this dude in center field, not an M. Duvall's hurt. He's an actual outfielder, unlike Ref Schneider, okay? But fifth is not a spot. For Dugo, I was like, maybe he should be batting second. But leading off is kind of stupid when he was batting sixth or seventh, fifth or earlier in the year, okay? And Delbeck, I'm glad he's back up on the roster, but he's not a shortstop. He's a third baseman. Like, not all third basemen's like are Matt Chapman and Nolan Arenado that they could play shortstop. And then Justin Turner, you got him to replace J.D. Martinez in the lineup, which means he's a five or six hitter, not a two hitter. That just makes no sense. But at least it took Rafael Devers out of the two spot when they've been doing that. So that's at least the solace there. Thanks again for listening to week number two of the 2023 season. Observations for MLB. For On the Radar Table Lock, I'm Radar. See you guys next time.